Hey, it's Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to share with you the actual pricing for $15,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 68 year old male. Now, first thing I suggest is going to our website and on just about every page, we have these free quoters. And all you need to do is just fill out the, just select the state that you live in. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way and then select the coverage amount you want and then put your birthday in and the rest of the info. Click get quotes now. And what that will do is it will take you to a page that's going to show you the best insurance companies that are going to have the best pricing that you qualify for. And what that will do will help you with two things. That will help you avoid those policies that advertise on TV and magazines and junk mail that offer those really low teaser rates. And then when you get on the phone with them, those teaser rates provide almost no coverage, and then they try to sell you more coverage to make more money off of you. Also, it'll help you avoid those plans that have two-year waiting periods that can cost 200% more than, than first-day coverage. So you can also call us at 888-862-9456. One of our agents can help you understand your rates and options. Now, the first thing a 68-year-old male should really consider when looking for $15,000 worth of insurance is is that going to be enough to cover their final expense needs? Now, typically we would be talking about either cremation or burial. So let's talk about those separately. So the cost of a cremation right now in the United States is between one to $2,000. That's where you come home in a cardboard box or an urn. Now, if you're going to have some sort of a ceremony, like a celebration of life or remembrance ceremony, along with the cremation, that's probably going to be $3,500 to $4,500, roundabout. So for that cremation where you're coming home in a cardboard box or an urn, we would typically recommend between $5,000 to $7,000. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, if the cremation's only $2,000, Randy, what, what's up with the $5,000? Well, you're 68 years old. You're probably hoping you make it to 78, maybe even 88. We know the prices go up over time. So we want to actually get a little extra coverage in there so that your plan is inflation proof, so that you get one policy and you'll never have to worry about getting another policy again. And the other thing is, if you do unfortunately die sooner rather than later, there's there's extra money on the upfront side to pay off any final expenses, medical bills, or just kind of any other unanticipated expenses. So it kind of protects you long-term and short-term. Now, if you're going to have that, that cremation with the ceremony, we typically help people with between $7,000 to 10000 and again, the 10,000 inflation proofs the plan. And, you know, it also protects on the front side, gives a little extra coverage early on, just in case you died sooner than you expected. Maybe there's some other bills to pay. Now, for a burial, the average cost of a burial right now in the United States is right around $10,000. So, you know, if you walk into pretty much any funeral home in the United States right now with a $10,000 check, chances are they're going to get it done. It's hard to believe they would say no and let you walk out the door and go down to the, one of their competitors two blocks down the road. But just understand, you know, $10,000 is not going to be, it's not going to be a fancy affair by any means. It's going to be very minimalistic. So we would typically recommend for a 68-year-old male looking for burial, somewhere between maybe ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. Some people might want to get $20,000 if they have kind of more lavish funeral needs, but typically ten to 15000 And keep in mind, the 10000 it's going to provide coverage right now, but it's not going to inflation-proof the plan. You know, fifteen dollars or $20,000 would definitely inflation-proof the plan, but most of the people we help are on a fixed or limited income. So we typically just re recommend getting what you can afford right now, because we can always help you add more coverage later. So if you get 10,000 right now, covers your most immediate needs, we can always come back and add more coverage later. Now, one thing we always recommend is not going crazy on this coverage either. Again, because most of the people we help are on a fixed or limited income, and they may want thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 to leave some money behind for their kids, but they can't afford it. So we always recommend, you know, keep this insurance for your final expense needs. If you want a separate policy for your kids, we can certainly help you out with that as well, too. So a lot of people will say, you know, that they don't want two-year waiting periods. And we 100% we agree with that. We always recommend first-day coverage or benefits. Now, what that means is 
Hypothetically, if your policy were issued and approved today and you died tomorrow, the insurance company would have to write that check for 15, 20, 25,000, whatever it is. That's exactly what you want, first day coverage. Now, some people would say, you know, I like that first day coverage, but I know they ask health questions and I'm not in the best of health and I'm worried I won't qualify. And we always say to them, hey, that's, that's our concern, not your concern, at least from an insurance standpoint. And that's why we work with so many different insurance companies because they all have different health questions. They all have different underwriting. And right now, we're getting 90 to 95% of the people we help approve for first day coverage or benefits. Really, the only reason you wouldn't qualify for first day coverage would be as if you had some really significant health issues going on, like maybe you had a terminal illness and you were going to die in the next 12 months, or you had dementia, or you were on dialysis, or in a hospital, or in a nursing home. If you had something like that, we'd probably refer you out to a different insurance company. The other thing that happens, seems like every week, is somebody will call us up and say, hey, uh, we had a family member pass away this last week, and they didn't have insurance, and we don't have any money. So their body's down at the funeral home, and the funeral home director is not going to do anything until he gets a check in his hand. So we need to get this insurance really quick so that we can get the funeral home director paid. And we have to let them know that there's no insurance company in the United States that's going to offer a policy on a dead person. It just does not work out that way. And it's really so sad that the person who passed away, they knew they were going to die someday. They, they knew they needed this insurance and they just didn't do it. And they placed their family it just under such a significant burden. And what ends up happening is now the family has to pay for this. And chances are they're going to have to put it on a credit card, paying 26% interest. And they're going to be paying on this years and years and years and years. So what a terrible legacy to leave behind. Just, you need to get this insurance, you know, sooner rather than later. But don't be that person who, who has that legacy that when, whenever your name comes up, people say, yeah, boy, he's a good guy most of his life, but I don't like the fact that he dropped all those bills on us and that we're still having to pay those. So, yeah, don't be that person. So one thing we don't recommend is the plans with two-year waiting periods. Not at all. Now, Colonial Pen, they're a fairly well-known company. I think it's just because they advertise a lot. You know, I think they're running those 995 commercials. Seems like every seven minutes over the <laughs> over the TV, I should say. So their, their 995 plan, if you didn't know this, their 995 plan is a two-year waiting period plan. Ouch. Yeah, you want to avoid that. And, and they're not the only company out there. There's other companies like Mutual of Omaha, their United of Omaha line, AIG, Gerber, gosh, just a host of other companies too. And yeah, so many of these companies have done an amazing job at convincing the American public that, you know, if they're over age 50, the only thing they're going to qualify for is a plan with a two-year waiting period to which we always say, <laughs> don't believe such nonsense because we help people with first aid coverage all day long. Now, our 68-year-old male is probably watching that Colonial Pen commercial and thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm pretty sweet here. You know, I'm, by the sounds of this commercial, I'm going to get a lot of insurance. I'm probably going to get 20000 30000 40000 maybe even $50,000 or $9.95. And then they talk with a Colonial Pen agent or they go on their website like we've done for you here and they see that a 68-year-old male for one unit of coverage, $9.95, is only going to get $762 worth of coverage. <clears throat> I tell you what, that's not even enough for a cremation in any part of the country that I know of. And it really wouldn't even matter if it was because it's got a two-year waiting period. It's not going to pay out any death benefit in the first two years if you die of a health or medical reason. So why would you ever get a plan? For nine ninety five, that doesn't even cover your basic cremation. Oh my gosh! I mean, that might cover flowers. I don't know matches. Ooh, yikes! So, yeah. Now, now some people would say there's there's companies out there that offer these teaser rates, and they offer these teaser rates just to attract your attention and get your info, so that they can call you up, knowing full well that it, it is such minuscule coverage that you'll never want it, and therefore. They try to upsell you into more expensive and thereby more profitable insurance for them. 
Now, we would never say that about Colonial Pen, but I know some people would, and I guess you're going to have to formulate that opinion on your own. But we're looking at $15,000. The challenge here is Colonial Pen only offers up to 15 units. And if one unit is $762, I don't think we're going to get to $15,000. Let's take a look. Yep, max is out at $11,430. And that's going to be $150, roughly. Yikes. Yeah. Let's see what that would cost with first aid coverage. Because I know, I know we can save you money. Let's take a look. So we've got 15000 here. <clears throat> we've got a male, age 68. And we're going to click get quote. Here we go. And again, this is 11000 for 150 Look, we can get 15000 15000 for $92. So why, why on earth, why on earth would you overpay roughly $60 a month to get a plan that has $11,430 instead of $15,000? This level means first day coverage. This is a two year waiting period. Also consider Colonial Pen, you're overpaying $60 a month for the rest of your life and you're suffering through that two-year waiting period. Now think about this. If our 68-year-old male lives until age 78, let's see, $60 a month times 12 months is $720 more a year. After 10 years, you will have overpaid roughly $7,200 on a $15,000 policy. That does not make sense. You need to be a smart consumer and a smart shopper. If you don't know how to, let us help you be one because there's too much money involved here. I would rather see you have that 7,200 in your own pocket, in your ba own bank account, rather than giving that to an insurance company. Just help you be smart shoppers. Let's look at some other companies here. Eh, we'll just go down here, 92. I mean, even Lumico here, level coverage, but they're $10 more a month. So that's uh, $10 times 12 months is $120. You're gonna overpay right around $1,200 after 10 years. And why wouldn't you save $1,200 just by getting a better company at the very front end? It's going to save you money for the rest of your life. Let's go down a little bit further. Let's look, see if there's another company. You'll be able to see all these different companies. Yeah, here's um, Lincoln Heritage. So they're a fine company, I guess. But look at their pricing. That's quite a bit higher. Yeah, it, it is level coverage. So that's what we're looking for. But yeah, their pricing's higher. So the reason is, is Lincoln Heritage has got a deal where when you pass away, they will supposedly call two, three different funeral homes and they'll supposedly get the best pricing, maybe do a couple other things, but you know, they don't do it for free. They charge for it. I mean, it's higher premiums. They're charging for it. You know, should you pay that? So it's roughly 120 versus roughly 90. So around $30 a month, you know, between 25 and 30, let's just say 30 for easy math. So 30, that'd be $360 a year. It'd be right at around $3,500 more now after 10 years. Now you gotta ask yourself, is it worth paying an insurance company around $3,500 to make two or three phone calls, maybe do a couple of other things that only takes an hour or so to do? Most people would say, that is a pretty good payday and we would agree and we highly advise you against doing that. We recommend going with a lower price insurance company that we can help you out with. And we actually offer a free funeral and estate planning guide. You can download that from our website. You can print it out. And then once it's printed out, you just fill it out. Who gets what, what goes where, what you want, what you want to happen after you're gone. And the beautiful thing about that is, is then you just keep it with your insurance policy. And when you pass away, your family's going to know exactly what you wanted done. And also have to do is just open up the funeral and estate planning guide and just execute your wishes. And they'll have the peace of mind knowing that they're doing everything exactly as you planned and that you provided the money to protect them financially to do that. And they will know that you love them, not only in life, but you actually love them enough to protect them in death too when, you would, when they would actually need you more than ever. What a wonderful legacy to leave behind. Our website, and uh, we, we've got a a special quarter for our YouTube viewers, funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. 
and you can get the most discounts and best rates right there. It's a, it's a great thing to take advantage of. We've got our phone number, 888-862-9456. You can call us directly. One of our agents can help you out with this. And if, you're, if you've got a, a, an existing policy and you just want to price shop it to see, to see if you've got the best rates or if you want to add coverage to it, we can help you with that. If you want brand new coverage or just have questions about what you might qualify for or what would be best in your situation, we can help you out with that. So we, we look forward to helping you get the most amount of insurance for the least amount of money. And we will be blessed to help you out with that at some point in the future until that day comes. You stay safe. You take care. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.